Hey guys, and welcome to this edition of Scrubs Garage. Uh, today we're at an exciting point in the engine building process. Uh, we're ready to put our cylinder heads on. So of course that means putting our lifters in, uh, assembled with the lifter buckets. Uh, we'll put the head gasket on, we'll put the heads on, we'll put the rocker arms on, drop the push rods in, and we'll get all that torque to, to spec uh, and set up properly. Uh, this is also an important time um, Go ahead and wipe down this head gasket surface a final time. Uh, make sure you don't have any uh, debris, especially if you've been checking uh, uh, piston the valve clearance, maybe using a, an old head gasket that could have had um, some dirt and grime on it. Make sure you get that uh, cleaned off of this surface. Uh, that's going to be important when we put the head gasket on. Uh, but before we get to that, we're going to drop in our lifters. So we're going to assemble our lifters into the lifter buckets and uh, that'll be our first step okay so we're ready to put the lifters in uh, of course I highly recommend uh, new lifter trays uh, these are new ones from GM uh, the lifters can only fit in uh, one of two ways uh, but the flats have to line up uh, otherwise the lifters won't go in uh, so that will be fairly self-explanatory I've had the lifters soaking uh, for a few days you don't have to uh, some people actually recommend not soaking them, but I chose to, to soak them. Alright, these will slide down into the lifter bores in the block. Then the bolt for the lifter trays. And this bolt gets torqued to nine foot pounds. Careful not to over torque it because you don't want to crack the lifter tray. There we go. So that's how the lifters go in. You'll do the same thing for these two, uh, and then we'll move on. Okay, so we got both uh, lifter trays in, um, all eight lifters properly put in. Got these two bolts torqued to nine foot pounds. Uh, we're getting ready to put the head gasket on, but as we mentioned, uh, wipe down the head gasket surface one final time uh, with brake cleaner or something of that nature with a lint free rag. Uh, just to make sure you don't have any oil on here uh, from putting the lifters in um, that's certainly a possibility okay one thing i wanted to show you before we put our heads on uh, you may or may not have um, the rear steam vent ports uh, blocked off it depends on what heads you've got um, so mine are they're actually 799 heads uh, but they're from uh, prc and it's their cnc stage one uh, ported heads but they happen to come with the rear uh, steam vent port uh, plugged and so you can see the little plug I've, I've got it partially uh, knocked out there <clears throat> so obviously I want to open up my rear steam vents I'm going to run uh, steam vents from all four corners of the heads so I'll spin this around obviously this is a lot easier while well, you've got the uh, heads off the car grab a flashlight 
And if you can see, right through there, there's the bottom side where you see where the punch goes. I don't know how well you can see that or not. Um, <clears throat> but from the back side of the head, you can lightly tap and drive that plug out the top. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to drive it inward from the top out. Um, that I'm not sure, but this is how I'm going to do it. But make sure you do this before you put the heads on and torque um, the head gaskets down and that sort of thing. And then, of course, as a final step, um, we'll wipe down the surface of the heads. Um, I've had these on and off a couple of times when I was checking the length of the uh, push rods and checking the piston, the valve clearance. Uh, so we'll wipe these down, make sure there's no contamination on the uh, head gasket surface. Uh, and then we'll move on to putting these on the car. Okay, so we're ready to put our head gasket on. Uh, so I've, I'm changing. Uh, this originally had the uh, composite gasket. I'm going to the multi-layer steel. As you can see, there's multiple layers uh, in this head gasket. This was the later updated head gasket. Uh, make sure your car <coughs> can use these head gaskets. Um, there were some early heads uh, that had some, there was something different between uh, some of these, a couple of these ports um, and couldn't use the multi-layer steel. So do a little research on that, but mine uh, doesn't have that issue, so I can't really illustrate it very well. Uh, the other thing I will point out is make sure you get the head gaskets oriented correctly. So they're labeled for the front, and that's because if you notice here at the back, there are some additional cooling uh, passages that come up into the heads. And then you'll notice that the back of the head gaskets have ports that will match up with those cooling jackets. If you had this flipped, they would still line up, except those holes would be up here, and of course there's no cooling jackets up here, <clears throat> and you'd end up blocking off those ports, which would be a bad thing. So just pay attention uh, when you're <clears throat> setting your head gasket on and make sure that you've got the front at the front of the motor um, and that everything lines up correctly. Okay, so we're ready to, uh, to set the head on. Okay, set the head on. Obviously, you've got the uh, the dowel pins that helps line things up. Just make sure it's not hung up on anything. And now we'll grab our uh, ARP head bolts, and uh, we'll start getting things torqued down. Okay, uh, like I mentioned, I'm using the ARP head bolts. Uh, ARP uh, instructions say to put their uh, ultra torque uh, assembly grease on the threads of the bolts, and also under the head of the bolt. So the bottom of the washer should be dry, but under the head of the bolt, where it mates with the washer, that's where uh, you put a little bit of their assembly loop there as well. You'll also notice that the washers uh, are chamfered a little bit. That's to make sure that side is up against the head of the bolt. Um, that way those two mate properly. Okay, so we're going to put the head bolts in first. Uh, we'll just get them finger tight initially. Um, then we'll go through the torque sequence. So these 10 get done first, and then the five smaller bolts uh, along the top will be last. Okay, so we've got the heads on. We've got all of our ARP bolts in uh, with their uh, ultra torque uh, assembly, assembly lubricant. Uh, so now we're ready to make our first pass at uh, the torque sequence. Let's see if I can get this where you can see it. So our first pass, uh, which would be bolts one through 10, which all of our, our larger bolts. Um, first pass is 25 foot pounds. Then we'll go through it again to 50, and then a final time to 75. And then we'll do the smaller bolts at the top. 
uh, a single pass at 25 foot pounds. So torque sequence goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that was a first pass at 25. Now we'll step up to 50 foot pounds on the torque wrench. All right, so that second pass at 50, and now we're going to do a final pass at 75 foot pounds. Okay, so all these are now done. <clears throat> now we'll come back and do these. Uh, it goes one, two, three, four, and five. Well, excuse me, one, two, three, four, and five. But uh, and they're at 25 foot pounds. Okay, now the, the smaller ones to 25 foot pounds. There we go. Okay, so we got our uh, heads torqued on. So now we're ready to drop in our push rods. Uh, we'll put the rocker arm alignment tray on and then we'll be able to put our uh, rockers in <clears throat> and uh, we'll keep moving.